welcome to my new booktube channel my name is Kari and I thought my first video should be the booktube newbie tag so we're gonna go ahead and do that today so that you can get to know me a little bit better in the direction that my channel is going to go in so let's go ahead and jump in the first question is why did you start this channel so I've actually been wanting to start a booktube channel for probably almost two years now. I've been watching booktube for probably two and a half years and the creators on booktube have been inspiring me to make me want to have my own channel because the community seems so uh, engaged and friendly with each other and I just wanted to join um, to be a part of it. So I've been wanting to make this channel for probably almost two years now and I finally just got up the courage to finally do it. I'm looking forward to finally being able to do it and just starting and seeing how it goes and, and having this creative outlet and this opportunity to interact with other book lovers and talk about books that I'm reading, books that I'm loving, books that I'm maybe not loving, um, and being able to engage with all of you out there uh, and potentially make some friends along the way. So I really am looking forward to this uh, journey that's starting now. Second question, what are some fun and unique things you can bring to booktube? There are already so many amazing creators on booktube and I hope that I can bring maybe something unique. For example, I am American but I live in France. So I'm hoping to add a little French touch, like an American in Paris uh, touch to my channel. You know, you can look forward to um, book shopping in Paris with me, things like that. That should be coming soon on my channel actually uh, pretty soon, so look out for that. So I'm hoping that that can be a little something different that I can bring to the booktube community. Question number three, what are you most excited for about this new channel? Like I said in the first question, I'm really looking forward to being able to engage with other book lovers. Most of the people in my day-to-day -day life aren't uh, readers, or at least don't read as much as I do. So I don't like to bore them with the details of the books that I'm reading when I get really excited about a book and I just want to talk about it. But some of the people in my life, you know, they'll listen to me talk about it, but it's hard because they can't uh, engage back and give an opinion of what they thought about the book, for example. So I'm really looking forward to being able to talk to other book lovers and, and engage in that way. I'd also really like to make some book loving friends, as I said before as well. I think that's really unique about booktube is that you can tell so many of the creators are friends with each other, but also friends with their subscribers. And I think that that is so cool, the, the little corner of YouTube that booktube has created and all the friends that have been made. I think that's really unique and I'm looking forward to, to joining. Question number four, why do you love reading? Now, actually, I haven't always been such a big reader. As a child, I didn't like reading. I always um, avoided as much as possible the required readings in high school and university. For example, I did uh, as little as possible. I didn't read for fun, that's for sure. However, when I was little, I did read for fun. So for example, you know, I was into the Harry Potter books because uh, I'm a part of the generation that Harry Potter came out in our childhood and, you know, waiting for the next book and all that. So I did partake in reading when I was younger, but then, like I said, in high school, university, I did not read for fun. But then when I moved to France and I had to take public transportation all the time, reading became kind of like a practical thing to do to pass the time because I didn't want to be on my phone for, you know, almost two hours a day on public transportation. And actually in France on the, the metro in Paris, a lot of people read. It's very common to, to see people reading on the metro. And so I decided to get into reading myself. So something that started as a practicality turned into something that I love. It had been a long time since I felt the emotion of being immersed in a book like I had been in my childhood, but then something that was just a practicality turned into rediscovering the pleasure of reading. I fell in love with the feeling of not being able to put a book down and also when I had to put it down, just constantly thinking about when the next time was that I could pick it up. So you know, I would read on the way to work and then I'd have to put the book away and then all day at work I'm thinking about, oh my gosh, I can't wait to pick this book up when I get on the metro to go home. And that's just the best feeling ever for a reader. So I, I fell in love with that feeling and I found my love for reading again. And all of this happened about five years ago when I first moved to France. Question number five, what book or series got you into reading? As I already said, like a lot of people my age, Harry Potter got me into reading. And I mean, it's not even just our generation anymore. The younger generations start out reading that as well and finding the love for reading thanks to Harry Potter. But I also remember really loving reading The Phantom Tollbooth. I got it at a Scholastic Book Fair and I just fell in love with the story. And I actually just reread it recently and fell in love with it all over again. I love the nonsense. On the level of Lewis Carroll almost, I absolutely loved it. So that's what got me into reading as a child. The book that got me back into reading about five years ago when I moved to France, the very first book that I read was a thriller and that was The Good Girl by Mary Kubica. 
and I absolutely loved it and that sparked a love for thrillers that has stuck around until today. I still absolutely love thrillers and that's what I mostly read for the first year or two of me reading. Another book that inspired me to keep reading was You by Carolyn Kepnes and this was before the series came out so I was obviously really excited when they ended up adapting uh, that book. So I would say The Good Girl and You were two of the books that really sparked my love for interest again as an adult. Question number six. What questions would you ask your favorite booktubers? Uh, my first question would be, can we be friends? <laughs> I love watching booktube. I, I spend so much time watching booktube and the creators on booktube do such a good job with their content that you feel like you're friends with them. So I already feel like we're friends they just don't know that, that we're friends. So yeah, I think it would be really, really cool to be real life friends with some of the creators on booktube. Also, I would obviously love to ask them tips and tricks because, you know, they've been doing it for a long time and I just love their content and I would love any advice that they could share. Question number seven. What challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome? Kind of what I just said for the previous question is learning how to use all the equipment correctly. <laughs> so learning how to use the camera equipment correctly, adjusting the sound to make it sound nice, using the editing software correctly, and just putting everything together to make a nice video, I think that's going to be the, the hardest part. Question number eight, when did you start reading? Like I already said, I did read as a child, but my love of reading wasn't sparked again until 2017 when I moved to France and chose to start reading in public transportation. Which leads me to the next question, question number nine, where do you read? I read the most on public transportation in the metro, going to and from work. Also, I really enjoy reading in bed. I read in bed almost every night before I go to sleep. So those are three periods of the day that I like to read. On the metro going to work, on the metro coming home from work, and also in bed right before I go to sleep. And finally, question number 10, what kind of books do you like to read? I will give almost any type of genre a chance to read, but my favorite genres of books to read are thrillers, contemporary, classics, and memoirs. So that's it for the booktube newbie tech. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about me and the direction that my channel is going to go in. And if you could subscribe to my channel, I would really, really appreciate it to help my little channel start to grow because I hope to see you again here soon. In the comments below, let me know your favorite book that you think I should prioritize and review on my channel. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.